Hi, welcome into my channel. I'm Amy and thank you so much for joining me today. If you are finding my channel for the first time, welcome. I love to talk about all things beauty and makeup and skincare and all kinds of things beyond that. So if you like that kind of topics and things like that, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel so that you can be inspired to use the makeup that you have and try to limit how much extra you bring in. Today's video is all about my Deck of Panning Project Pan update. I love this project so much I go on and on about it every month. In short, this project was created by Emily at Emily and Max and all of her information is always linked below. This project involves a deck of cards and a prompt board that Emily works through every month and so you get to draw cards and it randomizes the prompt which kind of helps bring a little bit of excitement to your project painting game. I love it. If you haven't heard of it, please go check out her intro video so you can get more details and I'll have my playlist link below too so that you can kind of see how it works you know, from the beginning. I have five products in this project, five cards, and today I'm gonna to roll out one product. So we'll be drawing one card. Let's go ahead and talk about all the things that are staying in and kind of check through my progress that I have made. I first have my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush, and this is the shade Peace, which is a really lovely, very bright orange color. I have a goal to use this up because it is getting older and I know that liquid blushes go bad. So this is probably about three years old. So I really want to have an opportunity to use it up this year. When I rolled this into the project, I weighed it without the lid and it weighed nine grams and I weighed it earlier this week and it still weighs nine grams, even though I have used it. You don't have to use a lot of this product to get a really good color payoff. So I'm not using a lot when I do use it. So I gotta figure out how I can kinda like step up my game and get that out of here. Staying in also for a little bit longer is going to be a blush in my Physician's Formula Butter Dream Team. I am working on the shade Saucy Mauve and I'm trying to wear off the pattern of this blush and if you will look at it compared to the bronzer right next to it, they had a very similar pattern like depth or whatever. This one is very like deep, the ridges are very deep, but this blush and this bronzer had a very similar pattern and it's coming along really nicely. I think that if I can really start to try to focus on Saucy Mob a little bit more, wearing off the middle, I might be able to roll it out next month. That will be a goal for me. Next staying in is my brow pencil from LA Girl. This is the Brow Bestie. I had a goal to use this up and when I rolled it in last month, I marked how long it was on the cap. And if you can tell, I have made some progress. <laughs> it's slow. This pencil has lasted me for over a year probably going on a year and a half now. And um, it's less than like three or four dollars. It's very, very cheap. So if you need a brow pencil that works pretty pretty well, stays in my brows really nicely. It This one is the one that has the, like the fatter product. It's not a really micro fine brow pencil. So it's not super great for like fine detailing, but it does fill in larger chunks of space. I like to especially use it like right there on this like larger part of my brow kind of towards the bottom that works really nicely for that but it's a great brow pencil highly suggest you look into that because you're gonna get your money's worth out of that one and last staying in is my ABH Rose Metals palette. I had a this was for the Joker and I had to use every shade five times. That was a goal that I had for myself and I am continuing to make progress. Let's quickly go over uh, each shade and where I'm at. So on Heavenly, I have finished my five uses. I'm really excited about that. This one is Eternal, one use. 
ashes, one use, dune, four uses. Actually, ashes, I have zero uses, so I need to get going on that one. This is dune, and I have four uses on that. This one is nocturne, nocturne and I have no uses on that. Noble, I have four uses. Now we'll go up here. This is Rose Quartz. I have one use on that. Royal, one use. Haze, three uses. Rose Fire, three uses. Sun Rose, four uses. And Nova, one use. So I this is going to be in for a little while longer. I wanted to roll it in because I love this palette so much and I love fall and it's a very fall themed palette. So I wanted to get some use on it out of season in my mind and I am doing that. I love it and I'm really looking forward to continuing to use that coming up. Now let's talk about the things that I did roll out. First of all, so with this Joker card, I did two products for one and I did use up the first part of that which was my mini of Juliet has a gun Ju Juliet has a gun not a perfume I used that up but that and this are considered to be one product so I'm still working on that card prompt but I, I did hit another goal so this product is going to roll out and it is my Ulta Beauty Oh My Glow Cream Bronzer I had a goal to use this 30 times and I did it. I am really am glad that I got some very good use out of this bronzer. It's a really great smooth cream bronzer. It stays all day. It blends really well and I feel like this tone, the tone of this one, which is tiramisu, has a really nice kind of reddish tone to it so that when, you know, like when me cuz I'm fair, whenever I get any kind of sun I usually get red first so this kind of emulates that natural tone that my skin would would turn now for the fun part because I was able to roll out this bronzer we're gonna go ahead and pull one extra card I have I never look at the game board before I pull my cards because I don't want to get my hopes up on something that I would like to get I know that I really don't want to get a face card. The face cards, I seem to be getting a lot of face cards this year, and the face cards always stay the same. Emily will randomize the number cards, but the face cards always stay the same. And in this deck is one Joker. Let's hope we don't get her again. So let's see what we got. One card. The Nine of Diamonds. I'm going to take a look at the game board and pull my product, and I'll come back and talk to you about what that product will be. Well, the Nine of Diamonds correlated to collecting cobwebs, and I thought this would be a great opportunity for me to pull in something that I don't use very often, but I really do like this product, and it's my e.l.f. No Budge Shadow Stick. This is the shade Cool Beans. I went ahead and measured it based off of the cap, and again, I don't use this a whole lot, and I use it more as like a lazy liner kind of situation instead of coloring it on my eyes. So this is how much I have left, and I'm going to make a usage goal to use this 15 times over the next, you know, month or two or whatever, and then I'll be able to report back to you on how much product was used up in those 15 uses. Thank you so much for watching today and if you like project panning content I'm going to go ahead and leave a few things right here just in case you would like some more inspiration. I'll see you in another video. Bye!